Google Voice is a telephone service that allows people in the U.S. to get a free phone number that they can use to make and receive calls and texts. This phone number has to be tied to a cell phone or landline that you already have, but that's an easy process that I'll show you how to do now. The benefits of having a Google Voice number are your primary phone number can stay anonymous. You can make ultra cheap long distance calls. You can make and receive Google Voice calls and texts on your computer or tablet in addition to your smartphone or home phone. You can transfer your old phone number to your Google Voice account just like you can with other phone providers. So here's how to get a phone number. I'm showing you this on a computer, but it's a similar process on the phone. So you're gonna have to go to voice.google.com. And once you do, you're gonna be taken to this screen. But I will mention that you are actually going to have to have a Google account before you can get a Google Voice phone number. So if you don't have a Google account, you can create a Google account, which is pretty straightforward process. And there's plenty of videos out there that show that you just sign up for like a Gmail and, and you'll be on your way. So once you have your Google account, you go to voice.google.com and you're gonna be taken to this page. So once you're on this page, you're gonna see select a Google Voice number and you're gonna have options to choose from nearby cities. So you technically can get a Google Voice number from anywhere in the US, but your browser knows where you're near and it usually gives you information where you're from. So like if I wanted to try, let's say Miami, nothing will come up. But if I delete that, it's going to show nearby cities. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually come over here and I'm going to choose Westwood, New Jersey, and then it's going to show a list of phone numbers that are there. And if I want to see more, I can see more and I can scroll up till I find something that I want. So let's say I like this phone number right here, this 973-556-0399, and then I click select. Then it's going to take me to this screen where it says to complete setup and start using Google Voice, you need to verify your existing phone number. So I would actually have to click verify and then I would be prompted to put in my cell phone number so I can get a text message from Google to verify that that's my number. Or if I don't have a cell phone or want it's this Google Voice to be tied to my home phone, I can put in my home phone number and then receive a call and then verify it that way. So, cause as I mentioned, it's not a separate phone totally. It's just a separate phone number that's associated with another phone number. So that's how you would actually sign up and select a Google Voice phone number. But once you have a phone number, I'll show you how to actually use it. So once again, I am going to go to voice.google.com, but I'm coming here on a Google account that I actually already have a Google Voice phone number set up for. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is show you a little bit of the layout. And like I mentioned, it's on the computer, but it's similar process on a smartphone. It's just uh, on a smaller screen and it's an app. Uh, so what you would do is come to the left-hand side and this is all of the calls that you have made or received. It's your call history. So then when you go beneath that, it's gonna be all of the text that you sent and received. And also you can see uh, it says send new messages. You can click this plus and you can actually type a message and send it to a phone number. Then underneath that, you're going to actually be able to see the uh, voicemails that you received. Then underneath that, you're gonna be able to see anything that's archived. So these are all of the text or the phone calls or voicemails that are archived that you set here. So then underneath that, you're gonna see spam. And Google Voice does a pretty good job of filtering out spam calls and texts. So you can see a list of all of the things that are filtered out that went to spam. Then when you come to the right side of the screen, you're gonna actually see a Google Voice phone number here at the uh, upper right hand side of the screen. And then underneath that, you're gonna actually have a spot where you can actually type in a phone number and click this phone icon that's to the right of it to actually be able to place a call directly from your computer. And underneath that, you're gonna have suggested phone numbers. It's based off phone numbers that you recently called or people that you interact with a lot. And then underneath that, you'll have a traditional dial pad that you can use to actually make phone, phone calls. 
And on the top, you click right here where it says receiving calls. You can set uh, do not disturb, but it's already set up to receive calls. And then you can click this headphone icon and you can change your settings. So you can pick what speakers will ring, what microphone you use. Then if you have a question, you come over to help. And what I wanna show you is in the settings. Now, it shows you the account on the settings page which is your phone number and you can actually delete it or do other functions with it. It shows you devices that are associated with your account and then uh, linked phone numbers that you have. And you can only link one phone number to a Google Voice phone number at a, t at a time. So let's say if you have a friend that has their Google Voice number and let's say they want your phone to ring when that Google Voice phone number gets called, if it's already linked to your own cell phone or home phone, you can link another Google Voice number to it. I just wanted to mention that to you. So then underneath that, you can you have messages. And this is where you actually set up your voicemail. So if you scroll down, you can actually set up a personal greeting and people and, and this people can hear your greeting or you can set up like a general default greeting where it'll say this is your phone number or this is the Google Voice phone number of so and so and do that. And then underneath that, this is um, web notifications and uh, this is, I don't have anything there, payments. And I wanna stop here for payments. So as we all know, there's a lot of technology that allows people to communicate with each other all over the world or, or even close by. But sometimes you just have to make a phone call. So occasionally I have to make long distance phone calls to people that either don't have some of the apps and they're not tech savvy or it's a business or something like that. So what you can do is you can use Google Voice for that. Now a traditional, let's say I'm here in New York, uh, so let's say if I wanted to call London, it might be $3.99 a minute on my cell phone plan or $2.99 a minute, whatever, whatever it may be, it's gonna be pretty expensive. But if I call on Google Voice, it may be one or two cents a minute. So that's what I meant by ultra cheap, long distance calls. But in order to do that, you actually have to have some money in your account. So you don't have to have money in your account just to use it, but to make long distance calls, you need it. So you can see my current balance is $7.79. That's enough money for a long time because most calls are one, two or three cents to most countries but I can click add credit and you can add increments of 10, 25 or 50 and click add credit and go through the process of entering your payment information and then you'll be able to add that money to your account. And the benefit of that obviously is you have more money, you can make more phone calls and these, this money doesn't expire, which is good. So that's something that I wanted to show you because that's one of the main reasons that I use Google Voice when I have to call people that don't have something like WhatsApp or whatever the case may be or handling business. So then uh, you can uh, come down, see some information about security and how you can filter spam calls and texts and information about accessibility and privacy terms. So as you can see, I could have just scrolled through all of that and it would have manually went, but I can't kind of click through different ones. So in a nutshell, that is what Google Voice is. I think it's something that's nice because it can hide your phone number and it can do all of the other things that I mentioned, allow you to make long distance calls for cheap and it has a lot of other benefits and it's free. So it's something that's that's definitely worth having. And let's say you had a problem with this phone, Google Voice phone number, uh, someone is calling you a lot or, or whatever the case may be and you just say you, you want to cut the phone number off and get a new phone number. You can get a new phone number, but there's a small fee associated with it. I don't remember exactly what the fee is right now, but it's a small fee associated with it. But it's a lot easier to change a Google Voice phone number that you may have had for one or two years than it is to change another home phone or cell phone that you may have had for 20 years. So that that's another thing that I like about Google Voice. It get, leaves you an anonymity with your main phone number. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy it, give it a like. And also subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more videos like this and click the bell icon so you'll receive notifications when I release new videos. And I'll catch you on the next one.